Welcome back to Coin Sense and Nonsense. Today, it's Toner Tuesday on a Wednesday, or sort of whatever. I've been wanting to show this coin for a while, and the lighting and everything made it kind of a dud. So, today's the day to test out the Toner Broadcast System here. I've got my new setup with the light box and everything, and so I'm hoping that we can do this coin a little bit of justice. This is uh, part of the 1967 Centennial set. Somehow this one got a proof, 65. 65 is low, but it's um, got some dings, and so I think it's justified. Um, there are some, some issues, but yeah, it is uh, kind of a neat... Uh, colored coin, or neatly colored coin, I guess. Um, the packaging really uh, made these tone up, and also they're only 80% silver, so I think they have a tendency to get some color more than if it was pure. So um, this one is the 50 cent piece, and... The reason I bought it isn't because of her side and hello, but this side with the wolf. I thought it had something that I wanted to call Aurora Borealis toning or Northern Lights toning. And I couldn't get it to show very well before, but I think it kind of is improved with this light box. Um, this was one of those coins that on true view it looked beautiful but couldn't approximate that anymore but the reason i thought it was like northern lights it, it kind of has like bands of colors and yeah it's really kind of cool so let me see if i can put this on the dr g coin slide or coin not slide but coin stand and see if we can get some improved colors here I think it's pretty neat though so actually before we get there these are alex colville uh designed these um they did have a design contest apparently that started like in 1964 to be ready for this uh coin and nobody was doing well enough i guess to get approved so they uh kind of extended the <laughs> the contest and um i guess alex colville is kind of a more well-known artist in Canada, so a lot of Prince Edward Island, uh, something, 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 but anyway, this is a cool coin, and I'm glad I can finally show it off and see the subtle colors. I'll show you the true view image. I'll kind of put a cut of that here just for comparison, but This one, there's a population of uh, 16 and 58 graded higher. All right, with an assist from the Dr. G coin stand, we've got um, kind of a cool display here. I love those colors. So very, very nice. I'm happy to finally be able to show this off um, if I didn't mention it already the mintage on this set is kind of a little bit obscure to find the actual number or there's conflicting numbers so I want to say 337,000 is the accepted number but I've seen it as high as 900 and some thousand and as low as 72,000 so you just never know so and again um this got a proof designation, but most often I've seen from PCGS SP designation. And then I think uh, NGC uses PL for proof like. So. so I don't know if there were mint sets and proof sets for the Centennial. I know there were multiple versions of the set. Some One of them even had a $20 gold piece, I think, so... Anyway, just happy to have this and happy to finally show it off in all its glory there. So I've uh, outsmarted the true view. Thank goodness. So I thank you so much for watching. 
Coin sense and nonsense. And until next time, bye. Bye.